We love to be thrilled, shocked, and entertained by out of the ordinary things. And when they make us question what we thought we knew about the laws of physics, it's even better. From high heeled daredevils to scaling rock faces without using your hands, here are the 20 craziest things that defy the laws of physics. Faith Dickey some people are truly fearless, and Faith Dickey is at the top of the list. Based in Moab, Utah, her business, Elevate Outdoors, teaches rock climbing and canoeing, and offers guided hiking tours. But her true passion is highlining, and she's one of the best in the world. Highlining is a sport where athletes walk across strands of nylon webbing that are tied between two points, high in the air, sometimes dozens or even hundreds of feet off the ground. She owns multiple world records and was the first person to walk a highline in high heels in the rain, the first woman to complete a free solo, and the first to cross a 100-meter highline. She's inched her way across mountain caverns on thin strands of cable as high as 820 feet off the ground. She's defied the laws of physics like no other. Her patented safety system called Skywalk has made it possible for beginners to experience the same thrills that she has. Well, maybe not quite the same, but regardless, it's safety first. With her system, Faith can pull clients back to the ground if they can't or are too freaked out to finish the walk across the high line. Thanks to a top rope safety line that's attached to a full body harness and a cord that helps with balance. She's incredibly fearless, but not crazy. Shape Shifting Gel We use gels every day. Toothpaste, deodorant, soaps, and pain relief gel capsules are staples of our daily lives. If you wear contact lenses, you use gels to enhance your eyesight. They're amazing, but these things are just the beginning. What if I were to tell you that gels could be used to deliver medicine and cure diseases in an entirely new way? Instead of having medicine contained in a time-release capsule, the medicine would be the gel itself. Scientists at Oxford University have been investigating smart gels that can switch from a stable gel to a liquid suspension of very small particles called sole. These smart gels behave in an extremely unusual way. Not only can they change from gel to sole, but they can change back. And the process can be triggered by many different things, like heat, mechanical pressure, and interactions with different chemicals. This physics-based process is possible through the use of CRISPR technology. CRISPR is a technology that can be used to edit genes by locating a specific bit of DNA inside a cell and altering it. It's already been used to make dozens of genetically modified organisms, track animal development, dissect diseases, and control pests. Fewer mosquitoes at the family barbecue? Sign me up for that! Now they've discovered another use, to create smart gels that change their form based on the environment we create for them. The current goals of the technology are to make smart medicines that release cancer drugs in the presence of a tumor, or administer antibiotics around an infection, and to link hydrogels to a circuit that can be used to detect pathogens, like the Ebola virus or MRSA, in genetic materials. The gels have been used to create a prototype diagnostic tool that sends a signal to a wireless device. We're heading into Star Trek territory. Perpetual Motion Seesaw Perpetual motion machines have fascinated science lovers for centuries. Since 1860, more than 1800 patents have been filed for perpetual motion machines. And one of the most mind-bending is the perpetual motion seesaw. The seesaw balance is based on the common perpetual motion idea of unbalanced torques. The idea behind it is that mass moves in such a way that torque causes the machine to rotate more on one side than the other. So, unbalanced torque is created when a ball rolls to one side of the machine, making the other side the support. A perpetual motion machine should keep running until the big freeze, when the expanding universe will have used all of its thermodynamic energy. In order to succeed, the machine should be frictionless, run in a vacuum chamber, and be completely silent since sound equals energy loss. The seesaw continues to baffle researchers, and it's so unbelievable people worldwide have created their own so they can see it for themselves. Santa Cruz Mystery Spot Optical illusions have always been a form of popular entertainment. The idea of seeing something unexplainable and pushing your mind to its limits will always be interesting. But are all unexplainable phenomena just illusions, or are some of them real? And we just can't explain them. Since 1939, people have flocked to Santa Cruz, California to visit the mystery spot, 
for the laws of physics seem to be defied. Visitors experience strange gravitational effects, and they can stand on walls, walk up stairs that lead nowhere, and get the feeling they're spinning, even though they're standing still. Balls roll uphill, and people can lean at impossible angles without falling over. Amazing stuff. But how is it possible? Tour guides suggest that an ancient meteor fell there, creating a magnetic circle where unexplainable forces defy the laws of physics. And there's no wildlife around the site due to the electromagnetic field that it created. Some scientists disagree, but maybe it's because they've never experienced it for themselves. The mystery spot was officially declared a California historical landmark in August 2014. And maybe some skeptical scientists should pay a visit. Kasherag Bolton Rock 1,000 meters, that's almost twice the height of the CN Tower. It's the length of 9 football fields or 20 Olympic-sized swimming pools. It's also the height of the famous Kasherag Bolton, a rock on the Kasherag Mountain in Norway, and its existence defies physics. At one time, Norway was completely covered in glaciers. Global warming caused the sea level to rise after the last glacial period, and since the rise of the rock formations happened faster than the rise, the boulder was put in its place, wedged between the mountains in 50,000 BC. How it remains in place after thousands of years during global climate shifts and countless natural disasters is still a mystery. Thousands of people take the more than 5-hour hike to reach the boulder. Then they grit their teeth and step out onto the rock over a river 1,000 meters below. It's an awe-inspiring view, and the rock itself looks like it could fall at any moment. That certainly adds to the excitement. Krishna Butterball In a coastal town of India, you can see one of the world's great scientific mysteries. It's known as Krishna's Butterball. It's a massive 250-ton stone that measures 20 feet high, 5 meters wide, and is perched on a hill slope on a base less than 4 feet wide. One look at the giant rock will leave you in amazement that it's remained in the same spot for over 1,200 years. Some people believe that friction works with its center of gravity to keep it in place. Gravity keeps it balanced, and friction keeps it from sliding. But many others believe something far more interesting. The actual name of the stone is Van Irai Kal, which means Sky God Stone. Because of this, a local legend says that the god Krishna dropped it from the sky, like a giant drop of butter, his favorite food according to Hindu mythology. And that's why it has remained in the same place. It's an offering from the gods, the mystery may live on forever. And regardless, people will continue to be amazed and question the physics-defying monument. Starlight In the late 1980s, British hairdresser and inventor Maurice Ward created a product so incredible that scientists and researchers worldwide still can't explain it. In 1990, Ward demonstrated his product on the BBC science and technology show Tomorrow's World, and everyone took notice. Starlight is a heat-resistant miracle coating that can be put on any surface to make it fire-resistant. On the show, Ward coated an egg with starlight and attempted to heat it with a blowtorch. Not only did the egg remain cool to the touch, but the inside remained runny and uncooked. Industry experts immediately wanted to talk to the inventor and tested for use in other applications like airplanes, fire doors, spacecraft, and dozens of other things. The UK Ministry of Defense tried for 18 months to get a sample of Starlight to test, but Ward refused. He agreed to meet with their experts and tested the material by firing a laser into a piece of brick. And there was no damage done to the brick. It really worked. For years, corporations and government agencies, including NASA, attempted to work with Ward to license or replicate the technology. But he was concerned that they would copy his invention without proper compensation and he never reached a deal with anyone before his death in 2011. This technology could change the way virtually all products are engineered and revolutionize our world. Vertical Climb Off-road vehicles have never been more popular, and one of the most popular makes for extreme off-roading is Jeep. They're easily upgradable to handle the most rugged terrain, including steep mountain faces, and owners aren't shy about pushing them to their limits. In Sand Hollow State Park, Chuck Converse has driven his 2006 Jeep Wrangler up incredibly steep red sandstone walls numerous times, even in the rain. Some of his climbs leave people shaking their heads as his 4x4 seems to defy the laws of gravity as it slinks up the path at a nearly 90 degree angle. 
Josh McBride from Layton, Utah is another proud Jeep owner who uses his rock crawler to scale mountain crevices. The videos of him challenging the laws of physics in his Jeep Cherokee XJ have been viewed more than 24 million times. It takes a special kind of thrill seeker to take on these life risking challenges, not to mention the time and money it takes to build and maintain the trucks. But to these guys and many more, the thrill of reaching the top is worth all the risks, and we love watching them try. Motorbike on Water There are people who like to push the laws of physics to their limits, and there are others who like to try and set new ones. Milan's Luca Colombo is the latter. Luca set a world record for the longest ride across a freshwater lake, crossing the 3.4 mile Lake Como in just over 5 minutes. That may not seem too impressive, except he did it on a dirt bike. Traveling at over 46 miles per hour, Luca skimmed across the lake on his modified Suzuki RMZ450 to set this crazy record and entertain the dozens of people who showed up to watch. His bike needed some modifications to keep it from sinking, so it was fitted with nautical skates and rubber blades that provided hydrodynamic thrust and made it buoyant. Luca planned to attempt the record a month earlier, but bad weather forced him to reschedule. I guess having a month to reconsider whether it was the risk didn't change anything for the thrill seeker Luca. And he kept the throttle wide open until he safely reached the other side. I wonder what he'll do for an encore, I can't even guess, but I know it'll be spectacular. The Kuma Kivi Balancing Rock There's a rich history of mythology and folklore in Finland, and one of the most incredible stories involves giants, trolls, and a massive stone. The Kuma Kivi sits on another rock in the middle of the forest. It's 23 feet long and balances itself on a seemingly impossible angle based on its size and footprint. No human has been able to budge it, even though many have tried. Legend says that a Hisi, a type of Finnish giant, carried, rolled, or tossed the rock to that spot. Giant trolls are also said to have lived in the area 12,000 years ago when the rock was placed on its perch so they could also be responsible for placing it there. Geologists suggest that it was glacial melting that allowed the rock to drift and settle there, but there's no proof of either. Regardless, the rock continues to let our imagination soar and question how much we actually know about science and history. The Split Rock of Horeb In Saudi Arabia stands one of the most mysterious and talked about monoliths in the world. The Split Rock of Horeb stands over 60 feet tall and leads into a granite basin. The rock is split clean down the middle without explanation and remains locked on top of a 100 foot high hill standing in the landscape. It's significant because it's believed by many to be the site of the rock that Moses split, allowing waters to run from it and into the desert. The Apostle Paul claimed it was the spiritual rock the Israelites drank from and therefore is evidence of Christ's existence. The next time you're in Saudi Arabia, you can take a guided tour of the site and see the majesty of the mysterious stone for yourself. Afterward, you may question many of the answers explained by physics. Golden Rock Golden Rock is the third most important Buddhist pilgrimage site in Myanmar, and it's one of the most beautiful sites in the world. The massive stone is not only covered in stunning gold leaf, but it also seems to defy the laws of gravity. It's unexplainably balanced on the edge of a 25-foot cliff on top of Mount Kiatkiko, with a 20-foot tall pagoda perched on top of it, and it looks like it will fall at any moment. According to legend, the giant boulder is held in place with a single strand of Buddha's hair that was placed there by the king. The stone attracts millions of visitors who sit and watch the sunset and leave offerings of fruit, food, and incense to Buddha, and chants can be heard throughout the night. It's a place of true devotion. It's believed that a glimpse of the golden rock is enough to inspire and enlighten anyone about the ways of Buddhism. Legend also says that pilgrims who make the hour-long trip through the base camp up to the golden rock three times consecutively in the same year will be given wealth and respect. That sounds like a good incentive to visit. Anti-Gravity Hill Have you ever been driving in your car and it starts to roll uphill on its own? If not, then you've probably never been to Tulsi's Haim in India, on the border of the Gir Forest National Park. Tulsi's Haim is known for its 3,000-year-old Krishna temple and hot water spring with healing powers. There doesn't seem to be anything too out of the ordinary except for one thing, an anti-gravity hill. 
That's right, if you park your car in the hill without the brake applied, it will roll uphill. That's enough to freak anyone out, and the phenomenon lasts over a 150 meter stretch of road. Some people say it's just an optical illusion, but you won't convince the locals of that. They're convinced it's a supernatural phenomenon, and that the path is a sort of doorway to heaven since travelers on the path are being pulled upwards. There has to be some magic in the world, right? Where water flows uphill. Cars aren't the only things that move uphill. In Kitulini Hills in Kenya, there is one square kilometer area where the rules of gravity are seemingly suspended. Numerous accounts from tourists claim they've seen water flow uphill for 20 meters without ever flowing back down. The theory is that because of strong unexplainable magnetic forces, the force of gravity is overpowered by the magnetic field. Some locals do provide an explanation, saying the hill has mystical powers granted by the gods. The native Kamba people used the hill to make sacrifices to appease their ancestors and in turn were granted favors, like the casting out of evil spirits or the bringing of rain to help fight off drought. There's also a specific myth attached to the area that says there was a beautiful woman married to two men who used to sleep by a stream between the men's homes to decide which man she would visit each night. When the men died, they were buried uphill because of their fighting over the woman, and they continued to fight in the afterlife, causing the strong magnetic uphill pull. The road is said to be dangerous to drive on at night because of its twists, turns, and unexplained pull. So if you visit, you better wear your seatbelt. Safety first. Cool Laminar Flow In fluid dynamics, laminar flow is defined by fluids following smooth paths and layers. Each layer moves smoothly past the layer next to it without mixing. Done slowly, the fluid will flow without mixing with the neighboring layers and will slide across one another like a deck of playing cards. A liquid's laminar flow is determined by its viscosity. For example, when you pour yourself a glass of juice, the juice flows quite freely. But when you pour syrup on your pancakes, it flows much more slowly. This is due to viscosity. Laminar flow is common when the flow channel is relatively small and at a slow rate like our blood moving through capillaries. Why does this defy the laws of physics? If you're pouring a liquid that is experiencing the phenomenon of laminar flow, it may appear to be still and not moving at all. This can be commonly witnessed when draining your outdoor pool at the end of the season. You can discover anything in your own backyard. The Well of Death the Well of Death is an example of extreme thrill-seeking and gravity-defying stunts. Since 1911, carnival sideshows have featured men and women on bikes and in cars, hurling themselves in circles around the cylinders, narrowly avoiding possible death while wowing audiences around the world. The participants travel along the vertical wall, sometimes performing stunts, and are held in place by friction and centrifugal force. In March 2016, Guy Martin set the world record for the Wall of Death, recording a speed of over 78 miles per hour. The attempt was broadcast live on British television and was performed in a custom-made well with a diameter of 37 meters. In India, daredevils perform in the Well of Death during festivals in the fall of every year to celebrate their Festival of Lights. The shows use a cylinder about 25 feet high and 30 feet in diameter and wider when they're using cars. The structures are built using hardwood planks, and the audience stands on the platform built around the wall and focuses their attention into the well where the chaos and mayhem ensues. Some people even perform the incredibly dangerous acts as a career, like Indonesian daredevil Carmila Purba, whose nickname is Barrel Devil. It's a tough way to make a living for most people, but for thrill seekers, it's perfect. And for science lovers, it's fascinating. Floating Leaf you may have seen one of the many videos on the internet capturing leaves that appear to be floating freely in the air. Some of them are hard to make sense of. If we assume there is enough of a breeze to keep the leaf in the air, it theoretically could appear to be floating. But what if the video clearly shows that there is no breeze at all? Some people have suggested that if there's no breeze, it may be a spider's web causing the leaf to appear to float freely. But what if it's not close to anything a spider could tie a web to? Is the person just trying to hoax viewers? Maybe. One or all of these explanations should explain the phenomenon. Do you think it could be something else? I wonder. Stuck in the sky. In August 2022, a passing motorist recorded a plane flying overhead. 
But what the footage showed baffled everyone who saw it. The unbelievable footage appears to show the plane stopped in mid-air. How is this possible? The first and simplest answer seemed to be that the pilot engaged a handbrake and stopped. But that didn't seem right to many people, and more people offered their opinion, saying the plane appeared to be stopped because of its low speed and the weather. But that didn't satisfy everyone either. So the idea that high winds blowing towards the plane caused it to look stationary was offered. No one answer has been completely accepted by everyone, and that's not surprising. In 2018, a similar video was captured in Dallas, Texas, where a plane appeared to be stopped dead in the air near Fort Worth Airport. Many people have concluded that the footage showed a plane flying into a strong headwind, creating the illusion of the plane being stopped in the air. But of course, not everyone agrees, and they continue to search for answers. Chinese Magic Mirrors Chinese magic mirrors have a mysterious history that dates back to the Han Dynasty in the 2nd century BC. They can be referred to as Tao Li, which means to the moon. The origin of the name is unknown, but some people believe that it's a reference to the lunar goddess. The idea of using a moon-shaped mirror to repulse evil came from ancient China. In ancient times, people believed that reflecting the moon's light off of a magic mirror would make you thin, and looking into one at night would give you a pleasant dreams and make you look beautiful. They were also used for divination, meditation, and healing. Today, they're mainly used as decorative household items, but how do they work? When bright light shines onto the mirror, the mirror seems to become transparent, and if the light is reflected from the mirror onto a wall, the pattern on the back of the mirror is shown on the wall. So basically, they project beams of light to manipulate objects. They're made of cast bronze and are typically circular, 15 to 20 centimeters in diameter, with a polished surface that makes them usable as a mirror. On the back, there are drawings ranging from forest landscapes with water, birds, or other animals, inscriptions, or even depictions of Buddha. There are said to be only four magical mirrors brought from China to Europe. Their effects were so amazing that they stunned members of the royal society, and no one could figure out how they projected such beautiful light. For centuries, the mirrors left scientists and collectors confused claiming the optical illusions were impossible, so they had to be magical. No hand climbing. Mountain climbers are some of the most fearless human beings on the planet. They spend hours and even days climbing to absurd heights in extreme conditions, just to get the thrill of reaching the summit. There are many different types of climbing. Some people climb with no ropes. Some choose to climb ice walls. And there are some who climb using only their feet. Have you ever seen goats on the side of a mountain? It's kind of like that. One man who does it is British rock climber Johnny Dawes. He was filming a review of a new hiking shoe he purchased and decided to highlight just how incredible he thought the shoe was by not using his hands to climb a boulder at Peaks District National Park in Derbyshire. The video was an instant hit and he continues to climb rock faces and defy gravity hands-free for the internet to enjoy. And there you have it, from scaling rock faces hands-free to high-heeled daredevils. These were the 20 craziest things that defy the laws of physics. Which one was the most incredible? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. And don't forget to give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. You can also hit subscribe for more awesome content. Thanks for watching and see you next time.